So I'm gonna have uh, aluminum floor panels cut and bent, hopefully, so I can just lay them in, bolt them, and use double-sided tape for insulation. The um, shifter, I put about a third of the way in from the, the full depth. So in neutral, moving the hand over to the shifter is in the same line. And then there's elbow room for it to fit. Um, if the seats are too close together, there's lots of room on the side. I wanted the seating position for the driver in so that the A-pillar is out of the way. I think this will be really nice uh, to drive. The passenger seat can always be pushed out. Um, today I'm gonna add the fuel tank brackets and the ECU I'm gonna put in the back. But this, So I'm gonna to run to get some bolts and then I will get started. I'm gonna bend some tube to build the front bumper section. And I started using this hydraulic bender. And the first piece, after marking each section and trying to bend it, they're not consistent. So it came out like garbage. And I bought this rolling bender. Uh, but I have to build a bench for it, and I have a feeling that it will make a consistent curve so I can just bend it until it forms the right arc, and then I can assemble the, the front section. I added the seatbelt mount clips. There are four for each side. measured it yesterday and then tacked everything in. The transmission isn't hooked up because the cables are wrong. I may make an adapter. That's pretty good. But nothing's tightened down, that's why it wiggles. I'm gonna try and make an adapter for the cables or if I can get a replacement cable for the correct transmission first. This is the issue. This is the connector. It has to go in this clip here. So that's neutral, forward and back. There's no way, there's no way that will fit. Same with this side. One fuel tank is in. There are only three mounts. There's a flat bar strip with an inch offset on each side. I'll figure this one out later. The ECU will probably go something like that. Maybe. And then later this evening, I'll add the second fuel tank. Same as the other side, flat bar. Second fuel tank has been mounted. Three points, they're only lightly tacked, so I'm not gonna fiddle it. They're closer together than I originally planned, but I'll put some heat shielding between the engine and the tanks. There's still plenty of room, and I can work everything around it. Joke's on me. Splatter from the weld filled up the threads on the inside bolts. It took me an hour to get off one from here and then the other side popped off. Um, I can't get the fuel tanks off. Tank install was a bit of a failure. The standoffs, because of the angle, splatter from the weld was getting in and making it impossible to take off the bolts. So I'll just make, I'll cut these off and then I'll make new ones and just tack them in uh, where they
where the old ones were. At least I got two on this side. I pulled it off a little bit, but I can clamp it down. And I just have to make another one. Well, that's it for today.